Hi everyone. Today in this video we are going to discuss the phenofibrate. How this drug acts in hyperlipidemia and what are the side effects, drug interactions and contraindications of phenofibrate. Phenofibrate is one of the anti-hyperlipidemic agent and this drug is going to be particularly used to decrease the triglyceride levels. These triglycerides are rich in the VLDL so this drug is mainly decreasing the VLDL levels. And apart from these triglycerides as well as VLDL, phenofibrate can also decrease the LDL levels to a smaller extent. So this drug is particularly used in the conditions where the triglyceride levels are highly increased. So this drug can be used in the type 2B dyslipidemia which is associated with the increased levels of both LDL as well as VLDL. Otherwise this drug can be given the other types of dyslipidemias like the 3, 4, 5 which are observed with the increased levels of the triglycerides. So today in this video let us see how this drug acts as an anti-hyperlipidemic agent. First of all let us see the structure of the phenofibrate. So this is the structure. So within the structure of phenofibrate the aliphatic chain is having an extra functionality and here the alkyl group is made up of the isopropyl group. So phenofibrate is an isopropyl ester but this drug is more active when this ester is going to be cleaved into an acid form. So phenofibrate is undergoing the hydrolysis such that it is going to produce one of the metabolite. This is nothing but the phenofibric acid. This phenofibric acid is the active metabolite of this drug which is responsible for the anti-hyperlipidemic action. Now phenofibrate when it is going to be administered into the body it is going to be hydrolyzed to phenofibric acid which is the active metabolite. This phenofibric acid is acting on the nucleus. And on the nuclear membrane, one type of receptors are present. These are the PPR alpha, peroxisome proliferator activated receptors. These are the nuclear receptors. Now, phenofibric acid can enter into the cell where it can bind to these PPR alpha receptors. When these receptors are going to be activated, they can undergo dimerization with the retinoid receptors. When these PPR alpha receptors are activated by phenofibric acid, they undergo the dimerization and autophosphorylation. And this complex can interact with the DNA of the nucleus which produce the gene transcription. And they are going to produce few of the genes which are responsible for the protein synthesis. In this way phenofibric acid finally results in the protein synthesis. And one of the important protein is the lipoprotein lipase. Now the lipoprotein lipase is going to be synthesized by action of this phenofibric acid on the nuclear receptors. This enzyme is responsible for the cleavage of the triglycerides into the free fatty acids. Now within the plasma, triglycerides are more transported through the VLDL. So VLDL is rich in the triglycerides. On the other hand, LDL is rich in the cholesterol. So since this VLDL is rich in the triglycerides, this VLDL can be taken into the cells where the lipoprotein lipase can act on these triglycerides to produce the cleavage and it can release the components. One is the free fatty acid and another is the glycerin. In this way, triglycerides can be converted to free fatty acids and glycerin by the action of the lipoprotein lipase. These enzymes are more expressed by the action of the phenofibric acid acting on the PPR alpha receptors. In this way, phenofibrate can increase the lipolysis where the triglycerides are undergoing the fragmentation to the free fatty acids, resulting in the decreased VLDL levels within the plasma. And these drugs can also decrease the VLDL secretion from the liver such that the levels of the VLDL within the plasma can be reduced. What are the side effects? Phenofibrate shows few of the common side effects just like the other category of drugs. It produces headache and it can increase the pain, particularly abdominal pain can be increased. It can produce a nausea, constipation and some back pain is also observed with the phenofibrate and some rhinitis like symptoms can also observe with this drug. So all these are the common side effects that are observed with the phenofibrate and observed in most of the patients. But apart from these side effects, we can observe the other important side effects on few of the organs. The one of the important uh, organ is the liver. Phenofibrate can affect the liver functionality, so it can increase the liver enzymes like the EAST, aspartate transaminase, which is also called as SGOT. And it can also increase the ALT, alanine transaminase, which is also called as SGPT. These two liver enzymes are indicating the liver functionality and when their levels are going to be increased, it indicates that some liver failure is absurd. So phenofibrate can increase these liver enzymes, thereby it can produce the liver impairment. 
And another important organ is the skeletal muscle. Phenofibrate can produce a myopathy, myalgias. So muscle pain is produced by phenofibrate and this side effect is observed with uh, all the drugs within this category. And sometimes it may lead to the serious uh, skeletal muscle disorder, rhabdomyolysis. Rhabdomyolysis is the dissolution of the skeletal muscle fiber because of the action of fibrates. So these fibrates should be carefully given and if any muscle pain is going to be observed, the drug should be immediately stopped. So phenofibrate can increase the creatinine phosphokinase levels within the plasma, which indicates the skeletal muscle disorder. So whenever this drug is given for a longer period, CPK level should be checked regularly in order to prevent the rhabdomyolysis. Another organ affected by phenofibrate is the kidney. This drug can reduce the renal functionality, thereby it can decrease the glomerular filtration rate. That's why phenofibrate may result in the increased serum creatinine levels. So a raised serum creatinine levels indicates that a renal damage may be produced by phenofibrate. What are the precautions? The first important precaution is the skeletal muscle disorders. If any patient is having skeletal muscle disorders like myopathy or myalgias or any muscle pain is observed by treatment of patients with a phenofibrate, then this drug should be immediately stopped and replaced with another type of drug. Similarly, second one is the pancreatitis. Phenofibrate can increase the risk of pancreatitis because it is going to produce the pancreatitis by increasing the cholesterol levels as well as obstruction of the bile. So any patients who are susceptible to pancreatitis, this drug should be carefully given. Third one is a coronary heart disease. Phenofibrate may increase the mortality rate in the patients with the coronary heart disease. So phenofibrate should be carefully given in the patients who are having the coronary heart disease, particularly in the diabetic patients. This drug should be carefully given. Contraindications. Till now we have seen few of the precautions, but in few of the situations, phenofibrate is strictly contraindicated. The first one is the hypersensitivity. Normally, phenofibrate can produce few of the hypersensitivity actions like the skin rashes, but very rarely it can produce the both acute as well as the delayed hypersensitivity actions, and it can also precipitate one of the fatal hypersensitivity reactions like the Steven Johnson syndrome. So if any Hypersensitive reactions are going to be produced by phenofibrate or, or due to the phenofibric acid. This drug should be immediately contraindicated. And second contraindication is the renal impairment. Already we have seen that phenofibrate can increase the serum creatinine levels. So during the renal impairment, there is an increased chance of serum creatinine levels by re reduced glomerular filtration rate. So phenofibrate is contraindicated in the patients who are having the renal impairment. Next one, other disorders like the liver impairment, biliary cirrhosis and gallbladder disease. In all these conditions, again, the phenofibrate is contraindicated because these disorders may be associated with the increased AST and ALT levels and phenofibrate can further increase these liver enzymes, which may produce a further liver impairment and biliary impairment. And this drug can also produce the cholesterol cholelithiasis, which can produce the gallstones. That's why in all these disorders, this drug is contraindicated. Next is the nursing mothers. Even it is exactly unknown, but this drug is having some chance to be secreted into the milk. So it can produce few of the abnormalities in the infants. That's why again this drug is contraindicated in the nursing mothers. Drug interactions. One of the important drug interaction with the immunosuppressant like the cyclosporin and tacrolimus. These two drugs are going to produce the nephrotoxicity. And we have already discussed that phenofibrate can reduce the renal functionality. So it can further increase the nephrotoxicity produced by these immunosuppressants. Similarly, another one is the colchicin. Colchicin is one of the anti-gout agent. And this drug can produce few of the muscle disorders like the myopathy as well as rhabdomyolysis, which are further increased by phenofibrate. So colchicin and phenofibrate should be avoided in order to prevent the rhabdomyolysis. And the important interactions of with warfarin. Warfarin is an anticoagulant which produces hemorrhage as one of the side effect which may be further increased by phenofibrate. Whenever this warfarin is given with the phenofibrate, the dose of the warfarin sh should be reduced in order to prevent the severe hemorrhage. And similarly, bile acid binding resins are forming a complex with we have the lipophilic drugs. So they can form a complex with the phenofibrate which may reduce the absorption of this drug. So whenever the bile acid binding resins like the cholesteramine and cholestepol are administered, this drug should be given either one hour before or four hours after in order to 
avoid this drug interaction. How it is given? This drug is given as a tablet form and it is available at the different strengths and even the dose of this phenofibrate depends on the type of dosage form from which the drug is going to be released. So the dose can be fixed based on the type of generic or branded product and normally the doses may variable from the 40 to 160 mg per day and this drug is used in the treatment of hypercholesterolemia and hypertriglyceridemia. So that's about this phenofibrate. This drug is initially come to one of the active metabolite phenofibric acid which is going to act on the PPR alpha receptors, peroxone proliferator activator receptors. These receptors are the nuclear receptors which undergoes the dimerization and autophosphorylation resulting in the gene transcription and protein synthesis. And one of the protein they are going to prepare is the lipoprotein lipase. This enzyme is responsible for the cleavage of triglycerides into free fatty acids. So phenofibrate can increase the lipolysis, thereby it can reduce the VLDL levels within the plasma. That's why this drug can decrease the triglyceride levels, VLDL levels and it can also decrease the LDL levels because triglycerides can be converted into LDL. In this way, this drug can be used in the different types of uh, dyslipidemia like the type 2B dyslipidemia and 3, 4, 5 dyslipidemias. But this drug can produce few of the important side effects like it can produce a skeletal muscle disorders like the myopathy, myalgia and rhabdomyolysis and it can also impair the liver functionality and renal functionality. Even it can increase the mortality in the patients having the coronary heart disease along with any other conditions like the diabetes. So this drug should be carefully given in all these situations. And finally, this drug can also show the interaction with few of the drugs like the warfarin where it increase the hemorrhage. With colsin, it can increase the muscle disorders. With immunosuppressants, it can increase the nephrodoxity. And it can also precipitate few of the hypersensitive reactions. In such conditions, this drug should be contraindicated. So that's about the phenofibrate. Hope you have enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel. Share this video with your friends. Post your comments in the comment box. Thank you for watching this video.